February 25th, the second day of the Russian war in Ukraine. It was supposed to be another day of reporting, but suddenly my private life turned public. I could not imagine that actually at 3 a.m. London time I would find out that actually my home is bombed. And you're talking about that, that actual building? Yeah, and this actual building is my home. Three months later, I've got a chance to go back home. I dreamed of this moment from the first day of the war. I've seen the images of my bombed home a hundred times, but nothing could prepare me to see it in reality. Oh my God. Over 100 families were forced to leave their homes in this building that day. This is the place I saw on video in the BBC studio when I was commenting there. Then the camera turned to there. And here is my balcony with Ukrainian flag above it. Despite the risk of collapse, many families are still living here. Let's go. Come in. My uncle has never left our home. <laughs> This is the first time I've seen him since the beginning of the war. Oh my goodness. This is my mom. My mother was sheltering that night in a cellar. I've since managed to bring her to the UK. But the impact on other families was even more devastating. A family of four, including two children, used to live in this flat on the first floor. They left a day before the blast, but their neighbors next door could not escape. Vlad lost his mother in the shelling. So painful to see how everything was destroyed. Yes, of efforts and of care, of love which was put here. And it just smashed in a second. My home is one of thousands shelled, and my story is one of millions. Victims of a war that has left around a third of the population homeless.